two-story building. Two-story building. Right here. 125 feet long, 50 feet wide. I'll pull a video of the house floating away. Here's my house. Uh, yeah, neighbors. That is um, crazy. So the guy in the in the, where my bikes are parked was not here. The guy in the house next door was here. He did not make it. Yeah. Um, it's very very sad. And so he used to sit and play his fiddle and sing. He was a professional musician. And so it would just echo up down the river. It was just a beautiful thing. And he's just out there having a good old time. So we we're gonna miss Lenny a lot. You know, he's a little little icon. Yeah. Um, so they're one of your sewing machines. Yeah. That's the whole upstairs. Right oh my gosh. The, and you're just turned, up here on the hill. I'm, I'm down by that big pine tree. And uh, it actually turned around because that porch was facing the river. And now it's facing the bank. So it spun 180. Spun the whole thing around. Yeah. yeah. Just insane. Um, and and as I was thinking about it last night. I almost went sucks. into shock oh, again. Wow. Because it took me last night. I was just like, my heart just started going crazy. I was like, okay, it's all right. Yeah. You're, you don't have to deal with that anymore. That's done. Right. And just calm myself down. And it took a while to get back to sleep. But, Dave, that's yeah. crazy, man. Yeah, we, we're really lucky. We're really, really lucky. Yeah, if y'all want to take fortunate. a look at that, you can. I didn't think I was going to make it at a certain point, so I was just like, yeah. I'm going to document everything. And so this is our road kind of underwater right now. You can see it down there at the very end, about four feet here. Goes down probably about 10 feet deep down there. Big trees going down the river. Well, what a mess, I'm screwed. Smart. I my best friend text and I put timestamps on the text. So if I didn't make it, maybe they could find my phone and find out what my Your message in the model was. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So I was like, oh, we'll see. <laughs> yeah. And and that was like, okay, I'll document it as best I can. And it's very, it's, it's amazing to think that the river was from here across. So yeah. it was it's, on the rail of the railroad tracks over there. That's a, that is amazing. Yeah. Just amazing. How much water? Just insane. Here. Yeah. Wow. Water be over our heads right now. A lot so that pile there, that's all my industrial sewing machine. So this 25 by 25 section here, there was a, a, a block wall dividing it, and that block wall ended where the wall ended. Yeah. So <laughs> that helped some of this stuff from getting watch down and scoured like my sorry You're good. like my neighbors the other thing that saved wow. me was this pole i've taken this is a cheap we got rope i use for tree work i wouldn't use it for like real climbing and stuff but i took this and tied it around my four wheelers and motorcycles here it caught a pile of debris it's 20 feet high 25 30 feet long yeah and it built up and it pushed the current back towards the middle of the river uh -huh. and that kept this from getting totally washed out. You had out. just a little barrier. Well, this is part of the barrier. This is what we've cleaned out to get to this. So there are five motorcycles oh, in wow. this pile. Wow. Uh, They're in there somewhere? Yeah, so here's one of them. Here's another one. You have to pull bikes. There's there, another yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all my bikes my, my most modern bike was in 1987. Your most modern? The newest. Bike, <laughs> yeah, my oldest That's bike was 101 years old. Wow. Is that, that, is yeah. that a Harley? Or uh, no, it's a BSA. A BSA? Yeah, I've got a, I've got a Harley over there. Yeah. It's... No.
an Aramaki, so it's Italian motor Harley. Yeah. I actually got three of those. Um, and yeah, just a lot of weird stuff. Yes. I had one bike, they only made 600 of them ever. Wow. Bad Italian bike, you know. Yeah. So. I just happen to like Same. weird things. It's just like, oh, that's a cool bike. Yeah. Yes. I'll get that. I need that. And, <laughs> yeah. and what's interesting, so my brother is a Bonneville speed racer. And he sets the world records and stuff. And I actually have a bike that I was building, a Bonneville sidecar yeah. with. And that little bike is still in there right on the wall. Which is amazing, you know. But, right there. Yeah, so there's going to be glass in this we'll stay here. and stuff. So don't come come walking up here. I don't want anyone to get hurt. Yeah. Floating downstream. So, yeah, so I got two gold wings here. Another drums that I've had since I was nine years old. This is the bike I'm going to be making for my bike. A speed bike. Um, 900. Yeah, I found motors down around the corner in the ditch. And then had all my metal lays and stuff up here. So you can see part of it sticking out over there. So that was a one-stop shop. I'd do paint, upholstery, everything. Oh, wow. And I, I did restorations. Oh, okay. And uh, and then I had my sewing shop as well, and that was my, my business. All right. Where were you when the when you were watching the... the uh, so by? this big pine tree, there's a little driveway that goes up. Yeah. And when it first started coming over the, the road, we all moved our cars, and I moved my car up there. And I crossed over that side hill. Yeah, right there. And had to stay. I had like that much of a path from flowing debris and water to get through. What were the winds like during that time? It was insane. So the tops of these trees right yeah. here were at the very top of the mountain. Wow. And uh, yeah, it's just insane. So I watched it from, from down there. Okay, do you kind of... Uh, paint a picture of what what it was like from the very beginning first started to realize that things were going south Yeah, so I first knew, I was like When I was watching the four-wheelers that were tied up my one four-wheeler flipped upside down and mm -hmm. I was watching I was like ooh, so the water's coming up. Yeah, yeah, and I, and I even you can hear it on my on my phone I'm like ooh, I'm screwed. Yeah, and so I knew by like 8 a.m. This was not gonna be good. Yeah, yeah, and I just kept watching it and hoping and then it's like, okay, now all the windows got smashed out from logs. And I was like, ooh, oh, that's yeah. scary. And then I felt things hitting the building. Ooh. I was like, that's not good. <laughs> but I just kept watching, and I was like, we're good. We're up in the dry. You know, we'll see what happens. Are and you are you upstairs? So I'm upstairs. Yeah. yeah. As soon as the water started coming in the shop, you went upstairs. I was actually on the phone with one of my best friends, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, the water's coming in the shop. And then the service died. So he's freaking out, thinking yeah, he just lost me. Dave downstream. Yeah. And then my other best friend was in St. Louis and couldn't get through, and he's watching the news. Yeah. And he said, I called you 60 times a day. He said, because I saw what was happening. I was like, yeah, I just saw what was happening here. And he, was, and he knows that, you know, they're my climbing team. So they're like, if anyone can survive it, it's Dave. Yeah. But this is big. He might not make it. Yeah. You know? And so I had a point where I was like, I might not make it, but I hope I do, and we'll just play it minute by minute, see what happens. Yeah. So I kept a real positive attitude, kept myself calm, didn't try to save anything, because I knew it, it's stuff. It's, it's, it's not yeah. worth it. There are a lot more people that want to see me and don't care about my stuff, yeah. and that's what's important. That was my whole focus. If I thought about anything beyond that, I would not have made it out. Yeah. And uh, so I... I'm lucky, very lucky, very lucky, thank you, <laughs> very lucky, a lot of luck, and my skills help reinforce that luck. It's yeah. like we say when you start a new thing like climbing, you've got a bag of luck and a bag of skills. You start out and that bag of luck is full, that bag of skills is empty. Yeah. you got to keep filling up that bag of skills, and then eventually that bag of skills is going to be bigger than your bag of luck, so you hold that luck. And hopefully it's there when you need it, mm -hmm. but you've got your skills to fall back on. Yep. So when I got over there, yep. I actually was... Well, when did you decide? So the water's coming so, up, you so saw the water's your coming up, over. and I'm seeing things flip over, and I'm yep. watching debris come down, I'm watching houses starting to come yep. down, and I'm like, ah, but I'm a, a solid building, it's built on rock, I should be good. And then the water kept coming up, so I was looking through a vent 
that went downstairs. I could see through to downstairs. And I'm like, oh, that's a lot of water. And it was about six feet in the shop. And I was like, oh, it's going to be a mess to clean up. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you were like, thinking. Oh, it's yeah. going to be a mess to yeah. clean up. But it is what it is. Yeah. And then the water started coming through that hole. As soon as the water started coming through that hole, I grabbed the dogs. We went from about right here. Yeah. So I was looking out the window straight to the back. By the time I got to the back, there was eight and a half inches of water inside the upstairs. Mm. Wow. By the time I got down there and the house floated away, there's two and a half feet of water in the house. And that was 10 minutes later. Wow. Mm. If I had delayed for 30 seconds, so you shot I out. would not have made it out. So you went out the back went door. Went out the back and had to jump over four feet of, of rushing water where my bridge got lost. So you were in the second story. I was on the second story. Went out the back door on the second story. Yep. And jumped out this way. Yep. So that jumped out fast, crazy. with the dogs. And one of my dogs went left, and I thought I was going to lose him. Yeah. yeah. Fortunately, he turned around real quick. Good. <laughs> so yeah. I can't jump in and get you. Yeah. And uh, and then they were real good, and we got over there, and I put them in the car, and they stayed in the car the rest of the time. So yeah. I'm like, it's crazy. I don't need y'all even going because they love water. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. this is don't not swim in that. Water. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're not playing fetch today, boys. Right. So, Man. Yeah. So we we got out and. I, I even at that point, I didn't think I was going to lose the house. Yeah, I just thought it was going to be a wet mess. Yeah, and then it floated away, and it, it took me a second to realize that's that's house. actually my house. That's not somebody <laughs> else's house. That's your that's, house. That's my house, <laughs> dude. That's crazy. And, uh, I'm so thought, glad you got out. Like, yeah. Man, I'm sorry you lost all this stuff. Like, yeah, it's, you know, this is a lifetime it's, of it's, collecting things yeah, and stuff. So you know, it's, it's memories. Yeah, but I have those memories. Yeah, and. And that's the way I look at it. You know, I, I was we were pulling motorcycles out, and my aunt is a master quilter up in New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. She's world famous for doing that stuff. Yeah. She made me a quilt back in 1993 when I moved to Asheville called Asheville Law Capital. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful quilt. It has a picture of our entire family that she printed on oh, wow. the fabrics in there. Yeah. And I found that quilt. Oh, wow. Great. And she sent me to my brother's house. She sent me two more quilts. Wow. I was like, oh, these are dog quilts. And I'm just going, <laughs> no. No. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Yeah. And then I sent her a picture of that. I was like, it survived. That's so crazy. That to me is like amazing gift. Yeah. yeah. I'm grateful for it. And of all the things that I could have saved, that's one of the things that has hardcore meaning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, man. It's the that's little, so it's great. The little things. That's it great is. you found it. Yeah. And you know, and I'm looking. It's like that's my very first industrial sewing machine over there. It's it's named is Hip it? after the South Park character. <laughs> 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 Even I, based, I don't know if it's there anymore, but it had a sticker of Pip on it. And that was my joke because it's a monster machine that'll sew through your hand. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, I wouldn't let anyone else. Is it use salvageable it. and fixable and thing? Maybe. Yeah. Some of it got broken off. Right. I could probably get another. I could probably acquire parts for it. Okay. But uh, that's great. Yeah, some of the sewing stuff because it's old school, just strictly mechanical. Yeah, I've got to do same thing with any bike I want to save. I've got to totally take it down to every individual part. Every yeah. motor's got Clean to, it to all. and and polish it all by hand. Yeah, put it back together and see what happens. Yeah. So, so is there anything? So, one of the things that came up uh, in previous videos that I did about this the storm and the flooding that happened was, um, you know. You could have done this. You should have done that. This could have happened. People could have avoided. There was nothing there, I could have done. And there that's was absolutely nothing I could have done. And that's what I. Yeah. When I saw the house go by, I knew, because like I said, I had it prepped for four feet of water downstairs. Yeah. I was good to go. Yeah. Not, and I was very confident with that. You know, I thought about that when I bought the place, and I said, "How high has the water ever been in here?" And they said, two feet." I was like, "Got a plan. We can do that. Yeah. I can manage that." And. As when I was sitting in my car and my house was gone, I just sat there and goes, there's absolutely nothing on this earth I could have done mm -hmm. to save this. Yeah. Absolutely nothing. Yeah. And I mean, we were, we were kind of going to be okay. And then when the water was a foot below the second floor, the dams blew out somewhere mm. up river and it was just a wall of water Yikes. and it just kept coming up and kept coming up. There's yeah. nothing, nothing that can be done. Yeah. And I was lucky again, lucky enough to know at that point, it's like, I don't need to be in this house. And I even thought about, ah, I can just, we'll just sit on the bed. 
and let you know let, we'll stay Float on the this water. Thing out. It, okay. it can't come up that much more. Yeah. Glad I made the decision I made. Yeah. Where do you think your house is now? Oh, it's destroyed. It. It. it if you go down to Can Green you see Mountain, parts of it? Oh no. No. Oh, okay. It's. It's. It was. So that happened at noon. Mm -hmm. The water kept coming up until six. It didn't stop. Start going down until eight or nine. Wow. And yes. and so I was up there watching it going. Is it you know wondering if you know I was going to make it with the car if we were going to get flooded out there, and so it was like please go down and then it would come up and it would go down a little bit and then it would come up higher and it, it was it was very nerve-wracking because it was changing all the time but not being consistent yeah. yeah and it's like i could predict you know if i'm watching it going down so it finally got down went down about two feet and i was like yeah i'm gonna just back the car to where it's flat so because i was running at about five minutes an hour for heat yeah and but only that because i had no gas and because I wasn't expecting this type of, of course. dance, yeah. And uh, I didn't trust it even after it went down two feet. I just, I was like, I can't trust this. Mm -hmm. I've got to stay a hundred percent on point because another dam could break and it could come up just as quick. Yeah. Were the were the winds still crazy at that oh, time? Oh man, the winds were outrageous. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was crazy. And I tried to document some of the wind, and and so you can see stuff flying around. On a phone, it's hard to see. I'm sure if it was yeah. on a big screen, you'd be going, "Yeah, oh my gosh!" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, you and said I'm, some of these treetops came from way up yeah, there. Yeah, from way up there. Yeah. yeah. So that I used to have probably 20 more pine trees in this grove. It wasn't thinned out like and that. It was not thinned <laughs> out like that. At this point, from from about 10 minutes from now, there would be no sun at all right here. And wow. uh, it's yeah. so hard to just imagine what it looked like here before. Yeah. I think there's still some pictures on Google Earth okay. that show what it looked like because this bridge was very, very prominent. People, I A mean, I had, I had 10, 12 people stop every day. To just wow. come walk that bridge. And sometimes it was the grandfather. Y'all got any power yet? Generator? Yeah, I got a generator. I appreciate it. You a space eater? Uh, we got one. Did you check with the guy in the brick house? Yeah, he said he's just clearing stuff out. Yeah. Cool. If y'all know anyone with some equipment, he could use a little help trying to clear out part of his driveway. Just if you see anyone. Hey, no, no, dude. I got a shitload of vets that are ready to do that with skid steers. I hear you. Awesome. Yeah, he could really use some help. All right, bet. Pre in a couple hours. Cool. Appreciate it, boss. Don't worry. Don't be and, and this is what it's been like. So we yeah. had people from all over the country that are doing the right thing because it's the right thing to do, not for any glory, not for any uh, nothing but a thank you and yep. a hug. Yep. And it's been amazing to see. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah. It is. So we're lucky in that sense. Yep. We're also lucky that the flooding here. It wasn't like coastal flooding where everyone's wiped out. You got one valley, everything's destroyed. The next valley over, everything's fine. It's kind of surreal. Yeah. So my brother, when we were driving in, he's like, oh, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. And then we came around the corner, he's like, whoa! I was like, yeah. Yeah. That's and so it's... What's, uh, what's, yeah. what's, what's kind of your game plan? Do you have a game plan? So I'm going to salvage what i can here mm -hmm. i've got a friend that has a motorcycle shop around the corner so i'm giving him my tire machine i'm like here you can have it you can replace the valves it'll be fine and uh, i'm going to store some bikes with him and take some bikes back to my brother's house drain them all fill them with fair they're going to sit and uh salvage what sewing machines i can and everything else i'll just recycle the bikes that i can't restore mm -hmm. i will communicate with my vintage racing community and see if I can get you know, parts to people and they can utilize the Part parts now. so we can at least keep some of these machines yeah. in the big picture alive yeah even though that may not right. ever be again that one may never be on keep the road, something but, else going but that piece could be on another bike somewhere exactly <laughs> yeah. so yeah. you know I'm, I'm I'm very much you know I don't throw things away I reuse I recycle I repurpose that's cool um I've always been that way because I've spent enough time where people have nothing mm -hmm. and everything is a commodity. Mm -hmm. So you waste nothing. Mm -hmm. And that was how I lived my life. Mm -hmm. And and that's 
I was able to collect all these things throughout the years mm -hmm. and not worry about life.